Let's face it, while everyone in the community benefits from the services Louisville MSD provides, wastewater treatment, stormwater drainage, and flood protection, most of us don't spend a lot of time thinking about what's going on underground beneath our feet. Specifically, we are talking about sewer system infrastructure. The first thing to know is that there are two basic types of sewer systems, separate and combined. In separate systems, one pipe carries wastewater away from homes and businesses directly to treatment centers where it's treated and then safely released into a waterway. A separate pipe carries rain and stormwater runoff, as well as snow melt directly to those same waterways. As you might expect, separate sewer systems are generally more expensive to build because they require two sets of pipes, one for domestic wastewater and another for stormwater. Combined sewer systems are common in older cities like Louisville. Most of the MSD combined system exists within I-264. Incidentally, as the city expanded into the suburbs, separate sewer systems were constructed. A couple of reasons for the popularity of combined systems is that in the mid-1800s, they offered rapidly growing urban areas a way to manage wastewater and stormwater runoff, while they also greatly reduced the risk of waterborne illnesses that made life in early cities so difficult. During dry weather, combined sewer systems send the community's entire volume of wastewater to treatment centers that then safely release the treated water into local waterways. However, despite their benefits, during heavy wet weather events, combined sewer systems pose a serious risk of pollution to area waterways in the form of combined sewer overflows, or CSOs. To be clear, though separate sewer systems are not built to overflow, Occasionally, stormwater finds its way into the pipes, causing an overflow into a waterway, onto the ground, or into a building. But for now, let's examine combined sewer overflows. A combined sewer overflow is bad news, and here's why. Instead of the usual process where domestic wastewater from sinks, showers, tubs, and toilets is transported to a center for treatment, during a combined sewer overflow, the sewer system gets inundated with stormwater, which mixes with untreated domestic sewage. When this happens, CSO structures ensure sewage doesn't back up into homes and businesses, but that untreated concoction of domestic sewage and stormwater has to go somewhere, so it gets released, swimming with pathogens, bacteria, diseases, garbage, and all into local waterways, which is detrimental to ecosystems, wildlife, and even human health. The Clean Water Act of 1972 empowered the Environmental Protection Agency to issue national guidelines to control overflows, and it mandated that communities dramatically reduce or eliminate them. This new policy helped Louisville MSD and sewer ridges across America plan numerous infrastructure projects dedicated to mitigating overflows and, in turn, protecting local waterways and ecosystems. In 2005, Louisville MSD entered into a federal consent decree to mitigate these overflows. In fact, MSD has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in these projects. By now, you may be wondering what kinds of infrastructure projects can help reduce CSOs. Well, because combined sewer overflows are caused by a lack of sewer system capacity, the solution naturally involves increasing capacity. This can be done in different ways. Underground storage basins are part of MSD's solution to prevent wastewater from overflowing into community waterways. There are several storage basins across the community, plus MSD's largest public infrastructure project to date, the four-mile-long waterway protection tunnel. The Waterway Protection Tunnel can store 55 million gallons of untreated wastewater and stormwater during heavy rain events. Together, the Waterway Protection Tunnel and storage basins provide a total storage capacity of 250 million gallons during heavy rain events. While sewer overflows can never be fully eliminated, this extra storage capacity goes a long way in helping MSD meet the requirements of the Federal Consent Decree to reduce sewer overflows. When water levels recede and treatment center capacity becomes available, the untreated water is then pumped to the Morris Foreman Water Quality Treatment Center, where it can be treated before being released back into area creeks, streams, and the Ohio River. 